with you. I know a lot of people in the comments are gonna be like, those are ugly. I could never. I'm just gonna I say, would never, people like, are tripping. I will rock the heck out of this shit. What's up guys? You already know what it is. When we got this behind us, it means we're only doing one thing right now. And that is some early birds. Wait, you know what you haven't done in a while? What? Yeah. Oh! Oh! So we got some dope stuff. Some things have release dates. Some things don't have release dates. Some things you've seen all over the place. And some things you've only seen a few places. I kind of want to jump in. We'll do like we always do. Least to most. What do you think? Novice to expert. I think we're going. That one, right? Yeah. That one or this one? I think we go. But this one's got a better story to it. In my eyes, than that, than that one. I does. think we go that one, then that one, then, then that this one. one, then this one, then this then one, then that one, that one. Okay. Yeah. First, first, the oh. infrared four. The release date is May twelfth, and I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm getting some fear pack vibes. I'm getting some green glow vibes. Yeah, I was about to say green glow is the number one fear, thing that is. Fear pack too. Yeah. Fear pack was almost like an Oreo colorway, and it had almost I the same color shoe. blocking. I love yeah, it. and I used we sold a lot of those back in the day. I want to say like 2013. So this gives me an older 2012, 13, 14 vibe to when it. When people weren't checking as as when much for Jordans, yeah. at least not fours in the yeah, mo for the most part. Yeah, yeah. I definitely like the colorways. Infrared. Let's talk about that for a minute. It's a different kind of red. It's not your crimson red. It's not going to be your fire red. I always just think be... of uh, Air Max 90. Air Max 90? Yeah, yeah the, 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 like the OG one or whatever. Yeah, I love it on that shoe. For sure. I like these colorways. I think the gray tones. I think the quality of the suede's really nice. I don't really own anything infrared. I have 90s, that's it. The sixes were cool back in the day when they yeah. dropped. I respect them. The all over infrared six was really cool back in the day. You don't even really see those a lot anymore. Yeah. The one where it's completely it's almost it's, looks pink. It's because when they did it, they like brought the infrared back and then it was like pink. It wasn't like the true. Yeah, no, but everybody was thinking it was yeah. gonna be like that actual red, red yeah, color. Yeah. And then they came Parsley out with red. the pink on the bottom of the black ones. And it wasn't it. And it's just, and I was confused. And then the white ones, and yeah. then they just did the all over all one over. where I was just kind of like, I can't, can't do this, do that, yeah. but I do respect it and I do like it and it is a cool shoe. I, I think it's gonna do really well in the store. Personally, I don't, I, I don't like it that much. Like I can feel, I can feel the history, the the throwback to the green glows and all that. But it definitely just, got some old school vibes to it, it just from whenever I first started reselling. For sure, I'll give about that. ten years ago. So I think they'll do well. I do like the colorways as far as with with the red tone to it. I do like the different color of grays and then the suede. The suede's nice on there. Yeah, it's got some really good suede on here. And what's on the bottom? Same little hit on the yeah, bottom. Yeah, infrared hit, infrared jump man. And of course, fours do well in the store. Yeah, so yeah. Last year was a year of the four, and I feel like continuing into 2022, they're gonna drop a lot of nice fours. And it's right there in spring, summertime, so this will do yeah. well. This color right here will pop with a lot of different colors for the summer. For sure. So, super dope. Cool. This one I like. I like, I like this one. I like this one too. So we have the Heritage Jordan 1. Now, a lot of you are saying this reminds you of the Travis Scott Fragment High. Mm -hmm. But what you guys don't understand is that Travis was inspired by the Sample 85 that never released. Yep. Which is where this was inspired by. It's kind of hard to find on the internet just that sample pair. Yeah, yeah, we so have trouble trying to find it. When you see it, you're like, ah, like I get it. Okay, yeah. yeah, you're right. So you got the white box on there, red heel, quality leather's really nice. I love it when they just do three colorways. On, on a Jordan 1 to me personally. I enjoy seeing that, nothing too crazy on it. And then, of course, the color blocking is of a Chicago or bread or anything like that. So it's gonna have just your basic black, white, and red on here. Yeah. So you guys already know, these are gonna be bangers. I'm excited because it's been a minute to, for a Jordan 1 to come out, me personally, that's just like, and so it's going to be the marinas, yeah, yeah. and it's going to be the heritage, and it's just like I'm Which excited. Is really to see weird marinas. What's coming after? Have you noticed that marina blues are doing really bad? People are offering them up to us early for retail. Do you think that's like the colorway? I think it's just a different colored blue. It's, it's, just, not, it's not your royal, royal blue. Yeah. It's not your true blue. It's not your royal blue. It's not yeah. any of those colors, cobalt or whatever you want to call it. It's got a weird, a weird tint blue, to yeah. it. But I like it, and I like how the, the tongue on the top is matches the entire sole right. with the white and the black on there. Like, I enjoy that shoe a lot. I think it's one of the ones that'll go up later, kind of like the pollen ones. Yeah, they came like out little there, sleepers. And they're starting to go up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, the little sleepers for yeah. sure. So I think these will do well. It's the first time 
that besides the, was it electric orange that dropped? Yeah. That they've been introducing this white toe box. Yeah. So I'm curious to see if they're gonna be doing other colors in the white toe box now that Travis kind of introduced it with the frag high and the reverse mocha low. So a lot of people say that it's it's a mid color. Weapon. Yeah, we've talked about that before. Yeah. I remember when the electric orange came out, we yeah, had well, said- like, It's very mid -like. Very midi. Yeah, it's very, very midi. Very midi. But I don't know, I've been wearing the Travis's uh, quite a bit and I'm starting to actually like the colorway. You talking about the high? Yeah, the high. Do you I'm prefer starting. the low over the high? Yeah. Yeah, me too. I think so. Same here. And I, pre yeah. I prefer, what did we talk about in the, the first one, I think I went with Frag, Reverse, Reverse Mocha, OG. On, on, or OG, yeah, yeah. and I still I still hold that. I will say this, quality's really, yeah, quality's really, nice. really, really, it really good. is. Like this collar right here, like you can see like just, it's good leather. Why can't they ever just do the toe to match the side panels? Why does it always have to be this kind of leather and then the pedal I think leather. They, I think they do it just to hype you up. Just to be like, we can't give you everything. Like, why so can't like, it all just get more be excited. like a backboard, know, like a shattered backboard, or like an old shadow, or It's just to build the hype, dude. They can't give you banger after banger. For sure. These are gonna do great. I'm gonna cop a pair of these. Yeah, I'll, I'll get I do want a pair of the Marinas. It's just, I have a lot of blue Jordan 1s. Yeah. I have a ton. Yeah. Like Royal Blue, Storm Blue, like it just top yeah. threes. Is everything just goes on and on and on with the Blue Jordan ones that I have. But and it's the Royal Blue. Color and then I have the not. UNCs, and then I have the Off White UNCs. Hyper Royals. I got a Hyper Royal. Yeah. Like I got a lot. It's too much blue. But these are gonna be cool. I'm excited for these. That one for sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. This one's gonna blow out the water with these. I swear, these are gonna be so crazy. I, I agree with you because all white is always a banger. Now we'll say this. I don't think a lot of people knew that this shoe was gonna be called the Bone Yeezy 350. But uh, because I, whenever I just posted it, Over and Under just reposted it and said previously known as the Pure Oak. Yeah, because I boom boom boom. Yeah, boom boom boom. Because when you, you really put the picture first yeah. in the group chat, you're like, "Yo, what do you think about these?" Yeah. And I clicked it and it said Pure Oak. Yeah. Which didn't make sense to me because the MX Oak wasn't white at all. It was right. like an oak colorway. Right. So I was like, this doesn't really Which I was give me to see vibes. If it had the marbling, like if it was somewhere like, like in white there, tones like white on marble, white or yeah, something. It yeah. Doesn't. It's I'm, just I'm glad white. It this literally it's looks It's a cream. It's a cream 350. It's like a shade creamier. <laughs> it's a, it, <laughs> like it's not bright white like the triple whites are, but it definitely, no. you know, from, from afar the thing it's is, it's definitely all white. It's it's much more white than the natural. Remember the natural 350? Yeah, of course. It's, yeah. That was like I really, way that one, creamier. That one did really well in the store too. It did. Everyone and their mom was gonna want these. I already know it. I posted on my IG story today because we just got it in, and I already had people saying six and a half, seven. I'm just like, hold on now, yeah, hold, hold on. on now. We don't have them yet. But when they do come in, I already know we're gonna need 150 I, pairs for sure or more. And just to start, look at this. I just peeped this. This is new. The new Easy logo. New Easy logo. First time on a and shoe. And this I one, say, actually, right? No. Some other shoe had it. Compact 350s. I think had. Is that what it was? I think. Okay. Compact, I think. The the, the knit one you're talking about? Oh, hold on, we have one right here. But it also on the alternate one has the Adidas logo, and then the other one has the new Easy logo. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yep. Is it on there? Yeah. This is the first one to get the globe in there. So this is the first time on a 350. I need help. This is the first time on a 350. That's a 350. No, it's a compact. Doesn't count. Same, okay, it's same different. Enough. Whatever. That's why it's not going in. Yeah, there's a little it's sad, fucking right? stuffing in here. Yeah. I'm like jamming. I'm like, bro, what's going on? I was gonna tell you. This. Um, one thing I will say for those of you who might have not owned any of the triple whites and are not looking to get a pair of these, in which I tell a lot of people who ask me to get them triple whites now and I'll tell yeah. them how old it is, is that I'm hoping, I don't know if it will or not, because it's a shade darker, the glue. In the yellow. The oxidation. For those of y'all who don't know, over time, the glue to the sole, you'll see like around the lines right here and along right here where it connects, will start to turn yellow from the air and basically your sole turns Yellow it happens on usually after like two zebras like too. Zebras, zebras, too. zebras and really cream too. It just stands out on the cream more because it's an all white shoe. So just do know that after like two or three years of wearing it, it's that it look will, like it'll, this. It'll, <laughs> yeah, it'll definitely be discolored. It starts turning yellow first, and then it turns like a like yeah. a brownish color later on afterwards. Bit? Let's talk about this shoe a little bit because this is this is like to me was like a failed attempt. First of all, it it's feels failed. like it feels like you're wearing a mountain man sock when you put this. You feel how thick this thing is? Yeah. Thing but I will thick, say bro. it looks it looks better. Like look, look I'm watch, sweating. Watch, my ankles are sweating shoe, looking at that. Tell me if it's a different shoe, ready? That's not how it looks when you put it yes, on. Yes, it does. For real? It looks like this when you put it on. Like it turns into a different shoe. Well, I definitely feels like you're wearing mountain man socks with these on, and it just yeah. doesn't it's seem just, like it doesn't do it for me. Now I will say I think it's 
different how they did the loopholes on here. Yeah. As you can see, they're like knitted loopholes around the around it, but it looks silly on the shoe. I'm really. It looks like they're like they're like the like strings are pulling out. it up and it's like stretching. I tell it. you what, you know what's about to come out? The all red one. The silver. Like, why did he do it on this shoe? Because he that, finally because does a red he shoe. He because because he it. wants you to do no. He wants you to want it to be on this shoe. So he's like, so cool. Do I'm gonna well, do I'm it on gonna this, this one. For sure. Okay, so he's giving us an all red compact, which is whack. To but me. people are gonna buy it just because it's all red. I don't know, bro. I promise you. Well, you already know. I need these for my gym when I work out. I got my Vivo Barefoots, which you guys probably don't even know what they are, but they're recycled barefoot shoes that I use when I work out. But I used to work out with these, but mine got so dirty and yellow, like we just talked about, yeah, that I had to retire right. them. But I definitely will be getting a pair oh, of these. Hold on, and I haven't bought a pair of these on, since 2017. On. On the tag, it says, in and plastic. plastic waste. And plastic waste made with recycled materials. So the whole shoe is made with recycled materials now? How's the cotton recycled materials? I don't know. I don't understand the sole, maybe. Yeah, that's the new little, and, and it's the, the world logo. Yeah. That's weird. So are they trying to like, hold on. Does this one say it? No, this one wasn't. Flip it around. Flip it around. No. no, compact wasn't. The materials we use, the ways we make, we're innovating to help protecting our future. This is just the beginning to end plastic waste. Which is cool because wow. if you think about it, um, That's tight. Adidas, back when Adidas was really big and I was super into Boost back then, they had that program where they were taking ocean trash yeah, ocean I remember plastic, that. I remember that. and making the shoes yeah, yeah. out of it. So this is kind of like, I feel like this is like continuation of that because that, that whole project ended. Don't, don't get twisted. Sean watherspoon has been making the recycled yeah. ones since the first Adidas that he made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's been other reasons. They did the, the Air Force soles are recyclable and you can see like the little specks on the right. bottom on some right. of the different ones that they, the women's releases. But this you can't even did. tell. You can't even tell at all. I don't Usually, know there's some sort of yeah. like something within something the material different. that you can tell, but it literally just looks like. So a yeah, I don't know. That's the uh, recycled Super materials. Dope. I'm with this. Yeah. I like it. You like it? You... I love the shoe. I know it's going to do really well, but I don't wear Yeezys. Like man. I said, I haven't bought a Yeezy yeah. since 2017, a 350. Yeah. I bought. I get what you're doing. I get what you're doing. It is a great. It's a, it, it's a great like active, you know, sports wear type. Yeah, thing, for sure. So. This one's going to be kind of like. Tricky to the eyes. Yeah, it is. When I when you first showed it to me, I was a little kind of thrown off on like <laughs> when I was looking at it exactly. I will say this before you pull it out. This shoe is one of the shoes that one of the early shoes we've had that I've had the most people DM me that they want. And I most found it really DM weird. me and they're like, bro, this is hurting my eyes looking really? at this. Like, <laughs> I had the flash right, on when I was doing it. Get it up. It's like a disco ball. It is. It's like a disco ball. I'm, I, my thing is like, why has Nike never made a shoe with this material ever if they just have this material laying around? There's no way it just like, just popped up in their archive. Now, you know, this shoe looks weird. I know you guys are probably confused as hell as to what kind of material this is. And you're probably wondering what shoe this is. <laughs> this is a collab with Clot. Edison Chin, Clot. And the material is the reflective material it's not even reflective i mean i guess in a sense it is what would you even call uh, this i could okay do you want to know what i call this anytime someone asks me what it is okay liquid metal liquid metal like it literally feels that sounds fancy it, it it literally looks like the shoe is made out of metal that's liquefied and it's just like moving and as you turn the shoe it's for sure it's popping all sorts of different weird colors they definitely like, should have hidden an image inside yeah. the panel what if there is? but as far as hidden images if you look on the tongue the way I move it up and down, it creates the logo from Klopp back to Nike. Overall, this reminds me of like those those trapper keepers when you were a kid back in the day. You had like that binder, that notebook that had the little material on, of this and you would just. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And you'd just be fucking yeah. around in class or whatever. And just... Dang. I was gonna say this, since you were talking about like, I wish there was a hidden message somewhere else on the shoe. Yeah, right. It sucks because sometimes we get shoes so early that like the story doesn't get pushed out with the shoe when we right. get it, obviously. So, like, so it's hard, like even uh, the Union Dunk. Yeah. We, we didn't understand the passport. We didn't understand yeah. the, 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 the the luggage tag. And then later on, they went to talk about how when you travel with his friends, yeah, right exactly. everywhere. And so it's like, yes. Sometimes so who knows? There earlier. could be something in here somewhere that we don't see, but I don't think so. This is my biggest concern right here with this shoe. Even looking at some 
some of the stitching on the toe box because you're using a material that doesn't bend very well and the toe box is circular. So you see how some of the stitching is just kind of yeah. like yeah. jagged a little bit. Yep. I'm curious as to how these are gonna hold when you wear them. I will say it, cause with it's like a a bend, With bending, no, it's, this is worse than that. I, I feel know, like with though. these bend, they're gonna create like a pointy edge. Maybe, when, maybe. You, when you crease it But I feel like way. it also gives a lot though. I don't know, I haven't done that look, part yet. Look, I just did it just to see. Right. I mean, Ooh. you're good, but I mean, it pops back, but you're right. Like, yeah. So I'm good. curious to how these are going to hold. Of course, I would probably want a pair just to have them because they're different. Yeah. When I first saw these, it kind of gave me the, uh, I don't know if you guys remember, like 2013 Super Bowl trainer vibes. Yeah. It was like iridescent. the all iridescent. All iridescent. Yeah. I always wanted those. Yeah, I remember that. You can go back and get a pair. It was definitely a different shoe, different material, something that hadn't been done before. Yeah. And it was on a trainer. Right. And so it was a little bit different. And that's kind of what these remind me of. The inside side's gonna be like a, it's not gonna be your normal cotton. I honestly don't even really know what this material is. Yeah, it's just like, I don't know. And it seems very thin. There's not a lot of padding in the shoe itself. It's will, almost like a cloth on the other side and then the material used. Yeah. I will say there's no other color on the shoe, but white, 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 and then- And then you already- Liquid metal. metal. <laughs> liquid metal. And you already know dunks, the two-tone colorway dunks typically do do the best. Yeah. Everyone knows that. And then of course, you know, Anything that's crazy as B style thing say, always does. High, that well. high dunks haven't been doing that well lately though, and I feel like this is a shoe to kind of bring it back. I'm not gonna lie, right back to the a fact that you said that makes me feel like if this was a low, it would be if this was murder. a and who knows? Maybe there is something. Maybe the claw has more plan. Be. If this was a low, it would be disgusting. It really would be. Cool shoe, cool concept. I already know Larry's gonna get these pair. All right. Larry I already loves know Larry's Larry gonna get it. this pair. He already told, he's asked me like eight times. He okay, well, I already know Larry's gonna get these. I think they're cool. Yeah. And I'm curious to see how people are gonna rock fits with them. Yeah, for it's sure. a different weird color. They got to wear I, like I like a solid the and then throw this on. Well, on to the main event. The main. Oh, wait, is there a release date for these? No, no, no release, release date. date. No release date. No release yeah, we're getting into the no release. And there's also no release date for double time. It's like a laundry bag or something. You got the bath towel bag, uh, yin yang sign, just do it. So we already know this is a Nike. And it's not a regular yin yang, it's got the warped thing that this company does, right? Yeah, they uh, warp everything. For, they've done that for a lot of different yeah, things. Yeah, they warp it all. Pull string, it's basically a shoelace. Yeah, shoelace tips. But on the inside is something very, very, very unique. How? Oh. The bag fluff got all over the shoes sold to it. All right, I know you guys have been seeing this circling around the internet. I know you've been seeing us posted a lot lately too. And any of the pictures that you have been seeing circling around, they're only coming from three different people. Mm -hmm. You have Yankee Kicks, mm -hmm. you have us, and then you have Good um, Times, good got, times, good times in, got the first in ATL. And they're the ones that got, I think it was like a seven and a half, I believe. Shout out to Good Times, shout out to Easy Kicks. Yeah, Good Times. The reason why he, I wanted that shoe that Good Times got. Yeah. The reason why he got it is because Good Times is a huge, CPFM is his brand. Right, that's, that's his like, favorite. Like how favorite. Larry's with yeah, Kenzo exactly. Pleasures and all that, and I'm big. CPFM is his brand. He nice. loves the, their stuff, so it was only right that he got it for yeah, so. For sure. It's cool. Anyway, shout out to Good Times, man. Yeah. I actually went to your store when I was in ATL for the first Donda. Uh, release for the listening party and I walked in and some of his staff knew who we were and they were super 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 cool yeah. I can't remember exactly what I got. I got gallery department tea for Larry and then Michael did you Michael did you get anything? No, I know they had the Raekwon and y'all had that dipset shirt and I wanted both of those because they were my size And I don't have either of those as my picture yeah. tea collection. I'm gonna have to work out a deal We're gonna have to holler yeah. and see if we can work a deal out with sure. if they're still there. So can let's jump, real quick let's jump right into this. Yeah, this shoe's coming. I just realized something right now. Okay. This shoe doesn't have a swoosh. It does, it just doesn't look like a swoosh. Well, it's got a little thing, yeah, but little this got swoosh. a baby too, but it doesn't have a big swoosh. I thought both pairs had swooshes until I just looked at them right now. No, yeah, this is only on one side. I just realized that. I wonder why it would be on the left side only though. Yeah. Let's just jump right into this. Okay. I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot like, going on. It looks like they just jumped into a puddle of mud. Yes. And first of all, so we'll start right there. If you look into the sole, you'll see that it literally looks like they stepped in a pile of mud. And, and it, it feels, feels like it. it yeah, and, feels it, and like it doesn't it. like peel off either. No. It's not anything that you think would start to crumble off. It's like plastered on there. Yeah. Then we'll go into the suede. There's suede literally all over the shoe with what looks almost like an Epcot 
like quilted pattern, it's triangles, it's not squares. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, Epcot, yeah, yeah. like the Disney the glow, Epcot. The big, the big, yeah, the big Disney thing. So it's thing, almost yeah. like an Epcot quilt yeah. on the toe inside panels. And then if you look on the left shoe, you have the Nike logo. And then on the right outside of the shoe, you have the Ying Yang logo. Yep. On the insides, you have these little baby swooshes. They look almost like little chili peppers. Yeah, right. I was looking at them. I'm like, that shit. It's like a very distorted, and that's kind of CPF. Uh, CPF they distort thing. everything. They just distort things. Yeah. For sure. Some of my favorite things about this is this rope lace. Yeah. I love just the extra size rope lace to it. For those of y'all who are curious, the other pair is in the bag for each one. Which is weird that they gave you one of each lace on them. Already. You know what I mean? Already. I mean, we don't know if that's how they're gonna nah, come, but no, that's, no, no. that's how it is. It is. It is. Because look. I mean, yeah, because they actually they're in the back. They did it in the yeah, back. It's, okay, it's for sure, it's meant to be like that. So these fat laces. Back in the day, I used to wear my shell toes with fat laces, yep. and I'd interchange all the colors out of them. Bro, that was like so, so huge. Fat laces were big in the late '90s, early 2000s. So I love the vibes that they put on here. If you look at the tongues, one says CPFM, the other one says Nike swoosh. So if you look to the sides, you'll see that the top shoelace lacing hole is a flat. So it's actually not sewn in on both sides. And it's super padded too, right? Yeah, super padded. Yeah. Everything's really, Everything's really good padded. quality. If people have the CPFM Air Forces, I have a pair of the CPFM Air Forces, the all whites. Yeah. They use the same insole. The left the and right. The infrared looking one? It's the one that's like, like heat, heat, heat map. Heat, heat and map, it yeah. says left and right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and are they on the right shoe? Oh, no, yeah, they're on the right Oh, yeah, they say it on there. Yeah, L and R. So you got brown and green. You have satin in between the insole and the outsole with just like a regular cotton on the inside. People are asking like, I mean, I don't know if it's confirmed that it's a SB, a dunk. They've said dunk low Everybody everywhere said I've dunk, looked, but it's got the it. tongue similar. It's not like as poofy as yeah. an SB tongue. The best way to tell if this is an SB or a dunk I was about to say. is the padding on the heel. Yeah. So All hold right, on, we're pull, you wanna pull yours out or mine? Yeah, or whoever one gets one e Yeah, easier. this thing's like in there, bro. Oh, I got it. You got it? Yeah. Okay, this is this it. might define whether or not it's an SB or I will or say this, isn't the bottom too? Isn't there a way to tell? Yeah, you tell Remember with we the, talked about it Yeah, the, the several lines is a SB and the spaced out lines is a dunk. Oh God, this is like- You're peeling out here. It's like glued. And the thing is, it's probably because it's freshly glued. I just don't want to mess it up. Uh, no, regular. All right, it's regular. a dunk. And it's got the regular glue pattern that everybody knows to look for. All right, well then it's a dunk. Guess These are amazing. Dunk. I need the shoe. I need this. Amazing. This is probably one of my favorite shoes that I'm excited for this year. Like what, I love this shoe. <clears throat> What's weird to me is collab themed shoes are SBs. Yeah, not dunks. Right? And everything on here is leading to a dunk. Yeah, except for the tongue. Just to verify, like we said earlier, if you lift it up, the big to small circle is a dunk. The several small lines is an SB. And they say dunk on all everyone that's written an article yeah. on it. But when you look at it, you get SB vibes because yeah. it's the way they do the crazy it's bulky. themed it's detail, bulky, bulky shoot. Yep. So it's gonna be one of the first, in my opinions, I've seen in a long time that's like this. Yeah. You know, two years ago it was the chunky dunk was like the biggest fucking yeah. dunk SB that came out. Then you had the Grateful Dead's was the next one. And then Travis Scott was in there one year too, but I think this is this is this it. Is the one. This is it. So far, this is definitely. The this one. is the one that's going to come out. It's going to stay over a thousand dollars, and it just only go up from I there. I will say this: I have been told the people that I get these pairs from say there's a second color. They say there's a second color. I hope it's brown to... or tan. Now I know they not green. Uh, they leaked the wear sample. There was a wear sample one that someone wore just to make sure it, the shoe held up, and it was all black. The whole oh, shoe's wow. black, I've seen it. But I don't think that's the other color, that was just a wear sample. But I have been told, and whenever the opportunity comes up to get that other color, best believe I'm gonna get it. For sure. I honestly wanna hold on to these till the release. Well, yeah. one's already sold, but at yeah. least hold on to the other one until the release. ASAP Barry really wants a pair of these. <laughs> yeah. So if you guys ever see him wearing them, yeah, you know where it's from. You know exactly where they came from. This is a dope lineup. And what's cool is like, a lot of our early birds that we do, we typically, it's just like you got an array of like some some high-end like exclusive stuff, some middle stuff, and then just like some straight GR. Right. But right now, looking down at all these shoes, I personally like every one of yeah. these shoes. Yeah, yeah. If There's I had to choose, that I don't like this. Right. Like I'm like nah. Yeah. But if I had to choose, to me, my personal weakest link would be the infrared. For four. sure, 100%. And that's just because it's not my kind of colorways, and I'm not big on the infrared colorway. I never. Have I'm just that. very big on one. I'm very big on OG colorways. 
I'm, I don't really like like whenever they start coming out with different colors. I'm not the biggest fan. But if they do come out with a different color that's not OG, it's got to be a good, good color. Right. You the know color what blocking I mean? just has when to. When they came out with university ones and hyper, right, 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 good. right. Man. But like this is just not amazing. That's a debate. Yeah. Y'all like university ones or hyper rolls better? Hyper rolls. Hyper rolls. Yeah. I like hyper rolls better too. Hyper rolls. And we had posted a TikTok a while back that. House of Heat ended up reposting and conceded commented on, and they were saying that Izzy was bugging for He's going with Hyper Royal over UNC. Nah, Hyper but I personally sure. feel like that the Hyper Royal is it's, to me better. It's a it's it's a cleaner shoe. It's better, but I will say the Hyper Royal is better than the Turbo Green in my opinion. Do you like the Turbo Green better than the Hyper Royal? Nah, Hyper Royal still better. Still better. Cool. Yeah. I just think they look really good with dent, like light denim. The question is, yep. can you rock these? Yeah. I know a lot of people in the comments are gonna be like, "Those are ugly. I could never." I'm just gonna I say, would never, people like, are tripping. I will rock the heck out of the shoe. Right. I will rock the heck. It's out just of the different. Shoe. It's, it's way different. It's, it's definitely a head turner, just yeah. like the Chunky Dunks, yeah. just like the Grateful Dead, just like the torn it's away a Travis Scott conversation starter, starter, right? right? Conversation yeah, starter. Like people exactly. are not gonna let you just walk by and be like. Uh, so I definitely love this shoe. Love I'm this. curious to see what your guys' favorites are. You rocking with the Heritage? The Bone, the CPFM, the Clot, or are you rocking with the Infrared 4? I want to know. And if you are going with the CPFM, tell me why. Yep. I want to know. I want to know why you guys are rocking with this. What about you? What's your favorite shoe? Yeah. Oh. Wow. He's asleep. Hey, J Bar. Oh. Oh. All right, All right, I guess he's out. All I right. guess we're out. I guess we're out too. So we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.